boost faster, RC or Megatron? Let's find out. I say RC1. Hello, this is Sandout here, back with another Transformers review. This time, the Transformers Revenge of the Fall and Burger King Toys, set number four, Ultimate Prime and Rise of Megatron. <sighs> today is the last day of the promotion um, for this. I found these guys today. I've been looking, I was checking two Burger Kings that were kind of close by, so today I went out a little bit farther and found these two. So I'm sorry if anyone's seeing these toys for the first time and want them. Say eBay is going to be your best bet because I just found these guys today in today's last day. Um, as far as I know, there maybe Burger Kings I still have them. Um, so obviously this is Prime Megatron, the last set. Um, they don't aren't numbered, but anyway. Um, here's the instruction booklet for Prime. You know, I've reviewed every um, this these are the last two toys. I've reviewed all these others. Go check them out if you haven't already. They're on my channel. Um, here's Megatron's. Just show it. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, so here's, so, I'll start off with Megatron. He's kind of the weaker of the two. Um, Prime's kind of the best. Um, so here's Megatron. He's, he's based off of his tank mode. No cannon, which is weird. Um, they're not the later class version. Yet. Um, here he is with the uh, Voyager class version. You get some of the size scale. Um, so you can see the wing parts here are more on this. Um, we got wheels here. Anyway, he does transform. Um, all you do is flip this up and you got a nicely molded Megatron sitting there. Um, yeah, so it's okay. You can pull back. Huh. And it'll roll along if Prime isn't in the way. Hey, he came back to me. He rolled off my desk, did a barrel roll, and came back right at my foot. Um, or you can have him in robot mode, which slows him down a little bit. That time, I didn't get so lucky. Um, whoops. Oh, there's the toy. Um, that's pretty much all he does. He can roll him on his own, though. It's not required with the motor. Um, that's pretty much it for him. Um, much else to say. Let's move on to Prime. You got three pieces with this. You get Prime and a couple jet pieces. Um, this is supposed to be jet fire, so you combine them together and you get jet fire in vehicle mode. Um, there. Yep. Um, and then here's Prime. So, anyway, now, Sean Long's review. Uh, <laughs> he couldn't figure out how to get these to combine. They just snap together. Like that, so you get jet, fire, and then you get prime, um, who's nicely detailed. Doesn't move, except he's made of PVC plastic, so if you set him out in the hot car for a while, he can meld. Um, but anyway, to, to, for the whole deal is you combine with jet fire. You split jet fire up, take this back part, there's a couple holes in the back here, you just plug them on. Then you take this and plug it on the front through a couple holes. Um, there you got what said combination of Ultimate Prime. Um, as you see, it covers up his nicely painted face with a very black and dull one. Um, and it's kind of not that movie accurate. Now, luckily, since you can combine the two, you can just slip this back under here. Um, just combine it, jet fire back, and stick it on the back. Um, just as it is, uh, if you like. Um, so, I don't know which one I like better. So you got this option, or you got this option. Um, I kind of like this better. Um, here's the comparison with the Prime with a much cooler, much better toy, um, which I'm still trying to figure out, uh, how to review them, whose review will be coming soon. Uh, there's Leader Class Prime, because I don't feel like digging the Voyager out, um, now, Leader Prime is, is slumped over a little bit in this cool pose. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, this is it for the Burger King toys. Um, I've actually gotten them all, which is surprising. Um, it's, I'm, I'm not kidding you. Today's the last day of the promotion, and I just found them. And that is like, wow. Why would they wait that long? Um, 
Here, I'll pull out the other toys so you can look at them. Um, they're all reviewed in sets, so first set, Devastator. Um, and The Fallen. And then the second set was uh, Ravage. Let me back my camera up so you can see it. This is Ravage. Um, ah, a really neat one. Probably my favorite. Oh, my second favorite. Um, Bumblebee. Uh, then there was set number three. Oh, Bumblebee's missing this girl. Um, set number three was RC. I'll just pull her out of the thing here. Oops. <laughs> um, and... Seeking Sandwiches, or Sandwich, um, let me get Bumblebee's little girl piece here, and stick that in there. So, all eight toys together, um, they look really nice. Compared to the first movie's toys, they are better. Um, they're not up to par with other toys, like McDonald's animated toys, which actually transformed and were like miniature legends. Um, they are pretty neat. Um, so, good luck finding them if you just had to see them all together to decide. I'm sorry I couldn't bring them earlier. I just couldn't. I just couldn't because I just found them. It's like, oh. Um, now, there was a couple bags that the meals came in. There's the Revenge's Coming Shattered Glass Decepticon symbol. There was also the Optimus Prime Protect the World and the eight toys on the back. Um... Those, those are the two bags. I noticed with Burger King, I'm gonna grab my other sack over here. Um, I've noticed with Burger King, they like to keep the sacks around. So you might find the sacks with other toys inside. Um, like I said, eBay may be your best bet. Um, overall, I'd highly recommend the Burger King toys. Um, you only get one, get uh, Bumblebee, because he's got the transformation noise inside of him. Then RC, because she's female. Uh, then Soundwave, because it's Soundwave. Um, Devastator, then Devastator, Prime, Megatron, The Fallen, and Ravage, because Ravage is tricky. I, I love Ravage, but he's just like, how did a kid, how could a kid figure this out? That's kind of deal. Um, so, till next time, it's a stand-up saying goodbye.